Hey all, welcome to Excel with Merle. Today I'm going to take you how to use the random number generator in Excel. So there are three methods to use it. The first is if you just want to in, uh, generate any random numbers between 0 and 1, you use the equal rand function. Which will pop up like that, as you can go type it in. And you just need to close those parentheses, and there you go, it generated your random number between 0 and 1. And if you need a bunch of them, just drag it down. The second way to use the equal, to use the random number generator in Excel is to use the equal rand between function which will generate a group of random numbers between a range you input so you input the lower portion of your range and then a comma and then the upper portion of your range so if you wanted random numbers between 10 and 100 or 10 and 500 or 10 and a thousand you just change that number as needed and hit enter and there's your random number and if you drag it down again you can get more you drag it to the right as well and you get a matrix of random numbers and if you pay attention none of these numbers are greater than a thousand and the highest one here is 999 you can also see that none of them are lower than 10 so they fit into the range you put in for that the third way to use the random number generator in Excel is to use the data analysis, data analysis add-on in Excel. And if you don't have it, you go to, you right-click and hit Customize Ribbon. You click down here to Add-ins, and then you Manage Excel Add-ins, you hit Go, and then you'll click on your analysis tool pack hit OK and bam there it is then you click on that and you have a ton of different analysis tools here but the only one that we need is the random number generation so you click it and hit OK and then the number of variables is the number of columns for your group of random numbers that you're generating so we're going to do five columns and then number of random numbers is going to be your number of rows so we'll do three rows and then your distribution you have many different distributions that are a part of statistics the only ones I'm going to touch on are uniform and normal. So the uniform is basically your rand between. It uh, you click on it and you'll go between 10 and 500. And then you can have it output in a new worksheet in a new workbook or you can click output range and if you click this upward pointing arrow here you can select your range rather than having to type it in and then you hit OK and it'll generate your five columns three rows if we go back in there and switch to normal distribution. The normal distribution just means that your parameters change from how many rows and columns to a mean and a standard deviation. So if you want the mean of your random numbers to be 200 and you want the standard deviation from that to be two standard deviations from the mean of 200 and then you hit OK it's going to ask if you want to overwrite the existing data because I didn't change that range that it was outputting it in. So you hit OK and there we go. 
So that that's the no, numerous ways within Excel that you can create a random you can get a random generation of numbers. Now I'm going to show you a cool trick that you're going to see again in our winner of the Amazon gift card video and that's how we're going to pick the winner using the random number generator. So I'm going to go back to the first one, the equal rand, which gives you random numbers between 0 and 1. And then in the column B, I'm going to start putting the names. These are going to be random names, but when we use it for our competition, it'll be the names of the people who subscribe to us. So we're going to have a Mike uh, Joseph Rodrigo Allen Mitch Ralph Esteban and Julio. So now we've got this list of names and this list of random numbers. And so I'm going to highlight the, them and then I'm going to go to the home tab to the sort function. I'm going to sort from largest to smallest number. So what that just did was it took the random number and sorted it from the highest random number to the lowest random number and since I highlighted the names when I highlighted the numbers it moved the names with the numbers so now the highest random number is at the top and so the person whose name was whose name was next to it is now at the top as well and that would have been the winner although when we do the competition we'll probably run it two, through two or three times because you can highlight the random numbers go to your formula tab since you use the formula to calculate it hit calculate now and it'll give you new random numbers so if do that two or three times and then you highlight them again back to the home tab sort and filter largest to smallest so we're going to calculate it one more time and then we'll go back to the home tab highlight all the numbers sort largest to smallest Esteban and so if we did this three or four times, we have a random person each time, and we do it two or three times just to make sure it's completely random, that we didn't put the names in next to a random number, or that we didn't cheat in any way. We just do it a few times so that we have no control over who won. It's just a random who was at the top after we calculated it so many times. And so that is both how you generate random numbers in Excel and a cool use of this random number generator in Excel to pick a random in this case winner of a competition but in other cases you could pick a random activity to do a random uh, movie to buy or any such thing where you want a random choice you could use this to do it and so this has been my Excel with Merle video on the random number generator in Excel and a couple of cool uses for it. Uh, if you like this video, be sure to click the like button, subscribe, hit that notification bell, and I'll see you in the next video.